In the first part of this tutorial we have finished uh, Tomcat installation and it's now waiting for applications to be deployed. Now we will continue by installing Eclipse and to do so we go to the Google again, type in Eclipse download. The first result is what we need and here's uh, several versions and we need of course the version that is uh, designed for Java EE developers and depending on your system choose what version to download I have a 64-bit uh, version of operating system with 64-bit GDK well that's the newest version of Eclipse. I am not sure that this will work on my GDK, so I, I, I think I will download the uh, older version that I'm sure will work. And, uh, In and here the older Helios Eclipse for Java E developers. I will be using this. You can use the newest one. That's not a problem at all. download is finished go to the folder and just a little organization and to install Eclipse you just need to extract the zip file just extract here now Eclipse is extracted I'll move this to installers and uh, better create the chorker to the your desktop by uh, copying and uh, pasting shortcut. I will call this Eclipse Java. E. and let's try to open it Ooh, Houston we have a problem well here's the first problem we experience and uh, that is because I have installed um, s several versions of uh, Java runtime environment on my machine and Eclipse does not know which to use exactly and uh, that's why we need uh, to point Eclipse in con configuration file which uh, Java runtime environment to use you might experience or uh, might not experience this issue um, if not then you are happy but but uh, that's not uh, too difficult to fix so to fix that I just go to the 
Eclipse installation folder. Open the configuration file called Eclipse in the standard editor. Now that's about you. Let's open the more advanced notepad. Yeah, and here in the first lines you should point by defining variable called virtual machine and followed by the path to the um, runtime environment we want um, Eclipse to use. So I want Eclipse to use the Java runtime environment from the Java folder and it's always better to point to the GDK uh, Java runtime environment rather than uh, standard Java runtime environment because we will install uh, many plugins uh, um, to the Eclipse and uh, many plugins require that uh, Eclipse run on the full GDK instead of G G2A uh, Java runtime environment I mean sorry so let's point to the bin folder copy that path and paste here and at the end you should uh, say the executable name it's called like that and uh, let's try to save this configuration and uh, try to start the clips again okay and it looks l it looks good no more exceptions so yeah we fixed that problem and uh, here's the dialog that asks us to point to the workspace where all Eclipse projects will be stored so let's point to the folder we will create right now in the Eclipse installation folder it's a good practice because um, it's a common practice to have many Eclipse installations uh, with many modifications and we just do not want that workspaces con conflicting with each other so here's our Eclipse and uh, let's make a folder inside and call it workspace and point to it okay this is gonna be our workspace and make sure you check that this checkbox um, to say Eclipse not ask again um, about workspace location our Eclipse has been started and uh, as always needs just a little modification and organization I just have made a pause to organize my Eclipse the way I like that's um, a little moving outline here here's the um, different views, servers, consoles uh, properties and markers so 
you organize it the way you like. Let's continue our setup by uh, adding several plugins to the Eclipse so it become uh, more useful. We can do this by option install new software and here we should uh, type in the update site. Uh, we always can f find update sites in the Google again and uh, the first plugin we need is the subversion plugin called Subclips. The developer of Subclip Subclips is this official uh, website. And uh, we are looking for the update site link, and that is a somewhere here. And here we see the update site we need. Just copy in, push enter. And the Eclipse returned the results and um, we do not need the SESVAN kit, we need just subclips. I think it's better to check all these features, then click next and just wait Eclipse to pros process these requests and uh, wait till it's uh, till Eclipse will ask you to restart them. Click next, accept license Click OK. And restart your Eclipse. Now when we have finished uh, subversion plugin installation. Um, we have uh, several options to control our source code. I can uh, commit it to the, to the Google repository and you can check out and maybe copy paste some uh, code snippets that do you do not want to re rewrite manually. Now we will end up with the second part and continue in the third part where we will install install um, um, Maven tool and uh, Eclipse Maven plugin.